We are about to hear from an East Tennessee native who defines what it means to lead a life of service. His military career spans some 40 years, including the last nine in the state's highest post. Retirement is a few weeks away, but Tennessee's Adjutant General, Major General Max Haston, joins us to reflect on his career. General, great to have you with us, and again, we appreciate that service. Great to be here, John. One of the things that you have done in your career is lead men and women in combat. This happened in 2005 in Iraq. What was that like for you? Well, it's, it's, it, it's, it's kind of surreal sometimes that, that, that we can even go back to, to that time. But, um, you know, it was a time and place where we needed to be in that country. Uh, we needed to ensure that that country could ha hold elections freely. And um, at that, that was the pinnacle of uh, soldiers and airmen and Marines and sailors that we had deployed in, in Iraq at the time. Domestically, you've also dealt with challenges, not only flooding in Nashville, but also wildfires in your backyard in the Smokies. Sure. What's it like to lead close to 15,000 people to organize a defense of the homeland? Well, you, you, it is a homeland, and that's what's critical to it, and, and all of our soldiers and airmen you know, know that. And so they give 110 uh, percent, whether it's you know in a federal status or a state status, and uh, they know that they're defending their families, their brothers and sisters, and you know their people. And so that I don't want to say it's an extra effort, but there's always that extra effort. Mm -hmm. These are men and women on the ground and in the air. You lead both. Um, one of the things that you wanted to mention was a few of the highlights of your career, and I want to get to those now. Sure. Um, and they include a suicide prevention effort that you help launch for members of the Guard. Yeah, we lose, uh, you know, 22 soldiers, uh, airmen, sailors, service members a day across the nation. And Tennessee lost 45 soldiers after I became the TAG. We lost, we lost four soldiers in 45 days. And I had to figure out something to do. Our programs wasn't working. So we established the Guard Your Buddy program, which is an interactive app, which somebody can hit the app on their phone and in three rings get a master's degree above clinician. And we know today that we've talked over 90 people off a ledge or possibly of harming themselves. That, that, was, that was really important. You have also re-engaged members of the Guard in higher education. We have. Um, the, the Guard members were eligible for the Montgomery GI Bill and federal tuition assistance and they changed their plans and so soldiers had to complete basic training um, and AIT uh, and then a year of service before they were eligible for that. So what we did was we worked with uh, the Haslam administration and we got resources put in there so we could pay to that period of time until they were eligible for federal tuition assistance, which has really been a great step. It's a really big recruiting and retention tool uh, to our Guard members. General, we can't uh, thank you enough for your service to this state and to this country. Forty years is quite a legacy and we appreciate yours. Well, it's a family legacy. My father, grandfather, and you've continued it on. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.